Hey, Brian Marshall here. Just want to bring you a real quick review on one of my prep items, the Flashfish E200. But before I get to that, do me a favor. The little button right over there, maybe a little subscribe button, maybe a little thumbs up. And I think there's a notification button somewhere along here. So if you do me a favor, press one or all three of those. And just like I said before, they're on sale this month. They're absolutely free. You know how I love free stuff. I'm sure you do too. Only thing it costs is showing a little brother a little love. So, anyway, this is my solar battery, the Flashfish E200. It's a 200 watt battery that does surge up to 250 watts. And the features here are pretty simple. And they sent me with, well, they sent it out with three ways. Or two ways to charge. You can plug in go 5.5 barrel plug and just plug it into any electrical source and you'll see the bars. Right now it's only about 20% heading towards 40%. There are five bars here. Once you get up to the fifth one, you're at 80 to 100%. And once it starts, stops flashing, it will say charge complete. So that's one way to charge it. Another way to charge it, and they sent me this along with it, is the cigarette lighter adapter. This plugs in there. And you can take this and you can plug into your car or You could plug into another solar battery, which I just happen to have right below me. Just have to turn that one on. And there you go. It's charging. Another way to charge it, and this did not come with it, is... Flashfish solar panel. Now this is a foldable solar panel, and even though I'm under the carport here, you can see it's still charging. So even in some shade, it will still charge. But like I said, this does not come with it. It's something I bought. Well, after I bought the battery, once I decided that I actually did like and enjoy the battery. Something else it came with was this little flashlight here, or a little flash device that actually plugs in. So, let me go and show you some of the, how this will work. You plug it into, into there. See? On, off. So, some other features, it comes with two 5.5 millimeter barrel plugs, which are rated at 12 volts. It comes with two AC ports. And in order to turn AC ports on, you have to press a little button here. In order to turn DC button, you got to turn the DC button on here. So that will charge all of these. These will charge up to 200 watts. This will charge up to 168 watts. So your DC just, just doesn't give me quite as much power. So what are some of the things that you can charge with this? One thing I always like to charge is my little battery I use that I carry around with me all the time in the car. So you can plug it in here. Let me see. Where are the, oh, got to hit the switch too. Always got to remember to hit that switch. Ah, yes, you can see the little light there. We're showing you that it's charging. So you can charge that. Hey, hey, random person that's walking behind me in the video. <laughs> Something else you can charge. And if you're ever going camping, 
you might recognize what this is. You can use this to blow up a mattress. Or if you go to the beach, you can use it to blow up some of your beach items. Let me figure out how to, okay. Convenient. Don't have to take it out to the car to blow it up. Just take this with you. Something else you can do. Fan. And this is on this is on high. Go so slow. So higher it is, the more power you're gonna drain, but you can use it for a fan. Next item. Actually, no, I'm not gonna bring that item out yet. Next item, something that's super important for me. My laptop. It's dirty, I know. Well, I guess you, if you can see that little red light there, that shows that it's charging. Hopefully you can see it. Ooh. Well, as you can see, I'm not really using it for anything that's super powerful right now. So one thing people always ask, can I use it to charge maybe a cooker? This little cooker here is 700 watts. So the answer will be an absolute no. But what about my coffee, Farmer Marshall? I got to have my coffee. My power's out. A simple old-fashioned coffee maker 900 watts nah it's not gonna do it what about when my power goes out and i don't have any heat small little heater no sorry okay well what about Something that doesn't use a lot of power, a 265 watt pot pot. No, sorry. Look, this is a great device, but it's only 200 watts. So no, you're not gonna charge items that heat, items that cook, you can't iron your clothes with it, uh, or you can't you know, plug in an iron with it. You use a fan to cool off, but you're not gonna plug in an air conditioner. Because once again, like I said, it's 200 watts. I don't consider this necessarily a survival item, but it can come in handy when you're in survival situations or when you're out camping, uh, you're at the beach, you want to bring a st little stereo with you, you want to, um, whatever, a fan, you want some lights, you want to be able to use a computer so you can watch your your streaming service on your computer sure no problem it's 200 watts though so you're only going to get so much out of it i've had this about two years now and i've been extremely satisfied with it my only concern was once comes to me i dropped it on a cement floor in the garage and something came loose don't know what it was but that was over a year ago still works like a charm so i wouldn't say it wasn't well made but the, something did come loose something they break inside of it but nothing as far as charging or some nothing that would affect it charging or affect it charging other items so a little concerned about that but Aside from that, I really was not very concerned. Now, something I didn't mention earlier, this little light. Initially, I absolutely hated this little light because I've seen other larger batteries of solar generators that had um, lights built into it, but then I had to think outside the box. 
what if I don't want to carry the generator, but I want to use the light? My little battery pack here plugs right in. No problem. So let's say if I'm on camping and I need to go back to the car, I just need a little bit of light. I can carry this with me instead of plugging it into the battery there and walking around with the battery. So, so I actually turned out, I actually do actually love this low light. It's not the most powerful low light, but it's light. And I can plug this into any of my other solar batteries. Something to consider when you're using this. It does not have what they call pass through charging. So that means I can't plug it into my solar panel or an electrical plug and then turn around and charge another item. So it can't be, you can't charge it while charging or, you know, powering something else, which is a, a drawback, but it, it's not necessarily a huge drawback. And those are really the only two issues I have with this battery. If I were going to, and I've read different reviews on it, of people where they actually bought it and you know, they you afford to you know, rank it anywhere between one and five stars. The people that rated it one star were people who really should have bought a 500 or a thousand watt generator. Why give it one, one star if you didn't buy the right device? And that's why I'm here for. I'm trying to give you information so you buy the right device. You just need something to power smaller items. This is great, but you're not going to charge your or power your freezer with it. Power goes out. It's just not meant. It's not made for that. If I were going to give it four, um, the star rating, I would actually probably give it a four to five stars. In fact, I think that's what we'll do. I'm going to give this one a four to five stars because honestly, it did what I needed it to do. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this review. and. You know, check it out. You can read more about this item online. Go, you know, go to the Flashfish website. They do have other power generators. They do have, you know, this um, this solar panel, which I think is maybe 140. And I think I mentioned that this is 140. I'm not sure if I mentioned it or not because I've practiced this video several times. But this is about 140. I think I saw someone there. They were refurbished for 110. So check it out and. Who knows, maybe you end up with what I have. So anyway, um, that, I think that's it as far as what I want to show you. So I hope you guys have a great week. I hope this video was useful for you. And like I said, if you found this video useful and you want to see other videos, just hit the like, subscribe, or and the notification button. And like I always say, even though this is a power, a solar power video, like I always say, let's get out there and get a little dirty. Carl Marshall.